It just makes you feel like you have superpowers. Today I'm going to give you the top three reasons an electric bike is better than a Tesla or any other electric car. I'll take you on a ride around Seattle, including a massive hill, to give you a sense of how electric bikes feel, uh, how they perform relative to electric cars, and what the user experience is generally like. I'm also going to show you if you were to take a traditional car, an electric car, or an electric bike, and you had the same amount of energy to use, how far you would get in each of them. The journey today is going to be uh, around seven miles, which is an average trip distance for, for folks running errands. Let's go. Just a few years ago, I had no idea I'd be riding an electric bike. I wasn't into them, I'd never tried one before, but then I went on a life-changing trip to Norway. I went with my whole family to Stavanger, Norway. We had an amazing time. We saw fjords, we saw free-range sheep, and we even saw hot dog art. One thing that really surprised me were all the electric bikes on the street. Almost every other bike was electric. When we got back to Seattle, we got back in the midst of a huge wildfire haze. Uh, you can barely see the sun uh, and everything smelled like smoke. Each year it feels like it's getting worse in Seattle. And I felt called to find an electric bike uh, that's part of the climate solution in Norway. So I figured I could be part of the climate solution in Seattle. So I went to some local bike shops, tried out a number of bikes, found one that I really liked, and I bought one within the week of when we got back. We had been considering uh, buying another car, uh, as my commute is pretty tricky. I work up at the top of Capitol Hill at the Bullet Center, which is a large vertical climb every day, and then I have to go downhill and actually back up to my home. So it's literally uphill both ways to work. And I was really thinking about car, and then when I found an electric bike, I thought, well, that's a viable alternative. And it's way less expensive, a lot more fun to ride, you don't get stuck in traffic, you can go on bike lanes and bike trails, and I was completely sold, and I've never looked back. Now let's go see exactly what riding an electric bike is really like. So I just came up this street, see just how steep it is. Uh, haven't really lost my breath. I'll measure the angle here in a second. Now look behind me though, that's the big one. I think on camera it looks smaller than it is. Here you can get a sense of the grade, uh, once again level. Here's my bike, I had to kind of like dig it in. It's about ready to tip over down the hill this way and about to ride up this bad boy. All right, it's steep enough. My bike actually just fell over. So I was able to go about eight, uh, nine miles an hour all the way up the hill uh, with turbo on and it's super easy. So you can see you can go up about a 13 degree graded hill, which is enough to feel like you're about ready to fall over the handlebars when heading down the hill with electric bike. Here I am at Lighthouse just from the top of the hill, which I came up. You can see I'm not out of breath. It was pretty fun going uphill, and I'm excited to enjoy some coffee. I'm gonna head out on another ride. I uh, head through some flats to get a better sense of how well it does on equivalent mile per gallon basis. Commuting, obviously, you don't get all sweaty, which is way better. Um, I love the it's how fun it is. It's like, it just makes you feel like you have superpowers, honestly, because things that before you'd be just like crawling up, using all your force and working as hard as you can are easy. Um, it's one of the closest things I've felt to having superpowers on a vehicle. If everybody rode electric bikes in the country, I wonder how many emissions we would save rather than cars. And think about how much the cities would change. Like if people were focused on riding bikes instead of cars, um, it would just completely transform so many cities. Uh, the other thing about electric bikes is there's a huge variation in quality, type, 
how strong the motors are. I found, I have a Bosch one that's integrated in the, the pedaling system, which helps with torque up hills. Uh, the one I have maxes out at 20 miles an hour, and uh, some of them go faster than that. I found 20 miles an hour is perfect because you don't really want to go faster than on that on trails and um, places where there are pedestrians. If you're on the street most of the time, you get one that's faster, but cars get confused too because they're not used to electric bikes. So after getting back to my house from the ride, I was shocked to find out that I had only used 0.11 kilowatt hours on my kilowatt metering device, which is a very small amount of energy. I then took that to see how far would I have gotten in a typical gas car like a Subaru, a Tesla Model S, and the e-bike I actually rode. And I decided to chart it to help you understand the impact. So the chart shows the elevation gain. You can see I went up uh, almost 400 feet vertically over seven miles, so up and down. And the bike made it, obviously, the whole distance using that 0.11 kilowatt hours. Now, a car using the same amount of energy, a Tesla Model 3, would have made it about half a mile. So it wouldn't have even made it to the hill to begin with. And a gas car, surprisingly, would have only made it 0.1 miles. So the Tesla definitely made it quite a bit further than a gas car. But still, you can see both of them are completely blown away by the e-bike. Uh, with this chart, I compared the first cost, tax, maintenance costs, annual gas costs, and electricity costs of each of them, and then summed them up. Now, these are rough totals just to kind of give you an order of magnitude. I didn't even include insurance in here because it varies so much across the country. Uh, an e-bike would have zero insurance, so it's even more savings. Now, to help you get a sense of the cost, a car, whether it's an electric or a typical gas car, is easily going to be $40,000 plus or minus. You can definitely get some cars for less um, with maintenance and everything. Maybe it's $30,000, but I'm just using $40,000 as a as a rough average. And you can see an e-bike's roughly $2,300. The crazy thing is, you could actually buy another 16 to 17 e-bikes easily, uh, in addition to that one, for the same amount of money you're gonna pay for a car. And the number one reason to get an e-bike is they are really fun to ride. If you've never tried one out before, they're very different than a typical bicycle, and you should go to your local bike shop, find one, ride it, and I think you'll fall in love. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed it, and subscribe below if you wanna get more climate solution videos like this one.